Busia have now opted to source their sanitizers from Uganda after supermarkets, uh, supermarket shelves in Kenya continue to remain empty. Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya Monday announced the closure of all public mortuaries for a period of 30 days. And in Makweni, border border riders will be required to have sanitizers. Willi Lusige with more details from the counties. A day after the total number of COVID-19 cases in Kenya rose to three, churches in Busi have been forced to make a last-minute rush to buy sanitizers in Uganda ahead of the next Sunday's service after the disinfectants ran out of stock in local supermarkets. Zili ambao tunatumia sasa tumepata inji jirani, Uganda ni umali tulikimbilia na tukapata. All day primary and secondary schools have closed across the country following President Uhuru Kenyatta's directive. In Eldoret, Hill School Primary was the first boarding school to close today, even as learners in boarding schools are expected home by Wednesday. We have communicated to our parents to come and take their uh, children. Because being a directive, we have nothing to do about it but is to release our children. Wasinigishu County Assembly has been forced to adjourn its seating for the next 15 days and other county assemblies are pushing for the same. We don't want our members of county assemblies to be at risk, neither do we want our members of public uh, to be at risk. So we are feeling that it is important that the county assemblies adjourn their businesses to reduce contact for the next 15 days. Bunge la kitaifa na bunge za county assembly zote zivunjwe. In Makweni County, the border border sector, which is one of the Kenya's leading means of transport, was directed to have washing facilities or provide alcohol-based hand sanitizers at various stages. Governor Kivuda Kibwana has also declared a ban on all market days, social gathering and congregating at mirage chewing joints. Maani popote pale watu anakusenyika kwa wengi, kwa, kwa watu wengi, iwe ni michezo, iwe ni mambo ya kujiburudisha iwe ni mambo ya kutumia muguka na miraa mahali popote pale watu wanajumuika kwa wingi wakiwa na starehe zao vile vile sasa hizo zitakuwa haziwezi kuendelea in kakamega governor weekly for paranya has announced the closure of all mortuaries for a period of 30 days following the new directive anyone who dies within the county is to be buried on the same day to avoid the gathering of mourners Anybody to a mortuary will instead facilitate the communities to make sure that they dispose of that body as quick as possible. The county government also ordered the closure of all open air markets to minimize contact, total ban on weddings until further notice, adding that all nightclubs will observe an 11 p.m. curfew. And we have also directed all border border groupings that they should not be there for the next 30 days. I've also closed all open air markets in the in the county with immediate effect. It's now official that for the next 30 days nobody will be preserved in any mog in Kakamega County as one of the measures of preventing the spread of coronavirus. Willilosigi KT News, Kakamega Referral Hospital, Mog.